Hello, friends and neighbors. It is me, Painted Reina, your friendly neighborhood witch of what? And today I am testing out a new product, High Tide Picky Paste by Fluid Art Company. So I'm going to show you two um, very mediocre pieces of artwork and hopefully make them kind of cool with the addition of some resin embellishment. So this is alcohol inks on a canvas. Um, I mean, it's like not terrible, but it's not my favorite thing that I've ever done. So I thought, oh, it, it might look cool if this is the waterline and I blow the waves down like over this, it could be like much, much better than it is now. So I guess we'll find out. The other piece is I was um, attempting a new technique. Uh, I'll try it again and talk about it later, but we've got uh, some other colors from TLP that I basically dry brushed onto a black canvas. So it's Unicorn, um, Flamingo, and Crescendo on here, mixed with a medium and brush on canvas. I was trying to go for something, it did not work. Back to the drawing board. But anyway, I also thought that this could be a cool beach scene because I like black sand beaches. So we're also gonna use a little bit of the high tide piggy paste on this to see what happens. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir up some resin and then I'm gonna be mixing some of this into it. And I will move the camera down so you can see it and We'll see how it all goes. I'm doing my video in a slightly different format because editing takes me so long that I end up not putting anything out. So I figure if I do it this way, maybe I'll make more content, which would be good for you, for me, for everybody, uh, for the weird cat and my artwork, for my frizzy freaking hair. Um, I had a gig last night. I'm in a rock band. It was very, very humid, very, very sweaty. And this is, this is what I woke up with. So we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> the 80s are alive and well, right? Anyway, let's do some art. This is my first time using Piggy Paste, so this is a brand new container. I'm just gonna pop it open here with a popsicle stick. I have stuck my fingers in too many of these, and I know that I don't like doing that, so hey. Try it up here a little bit. There we go. So many, I just got some on my thumb. It happens. Okay, so I have got art resin. Um, this is a little old and turned a little bit yellow. I think I left it in the sun too long, but that's okay. And I have got this cool little um, silicone cup thing. It's a little less than, it's about an ounce. It's about 30 milliliters. So what I'm going to do is, oh my God. I really didn't get out my fingers. Never a bad thing to have isopropyl alcohol near you when you're working with resin. So, before I make more of this, gloves go on. It's important to note, you should be wearing a respirator. Um, for the sake of filming and talking to you, I'm not going to, but I have like windows open all over my house. So hopefully I won't die today. So I'm gonna pour a little um, into the cup with a little bit of room for mixing. Uh, you don't need a ton of this. So hopefully you can see in either camera. I do not have all that much in here. So I'm going to take a popsicle stick and uh, just kind of take a little bit. It doesn't, shouldn't take much. Just, you know, uh, just, you know, a coating and mix it up. Mix it thoroughly.
There we go. And set it aside. I'm gonna cap this bad boy back up. So we're done with that, like with the tube. So the tube, the jar. Next thing we're going to do is put the resin onto the canvases where I want the waves to go. I'm not going to completely cover them because I think I'm going to end up adding some paint maybe uh, before they're actually finished. Here, got a little left over. All right, and use a heat gun, blow out the bubbles, and spread it out a little bit. And now we wait 20 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer and we'll come back. Okay, well, I have been waiting for the resin to set, which is the purpose of setting the timer for 20 minutes. I thought I would grab the colors that are in here so you can see them. Uh, this is Flamingo, uh, the beautiful pink colors. I hold it up to this camera very awkwardly and you can see my armpits, gross. Um, <laughs> but it's really a pretty uh, color shifting pink. And that is, um, I'm pretty sure the one in the middle here. <laughs> and then I have got a unicorn, which is a gorgeous color shifting, um, uh, blue kind of purple color. And that's the one on the end here. No, I'm not. Is it? Holy crap. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I did these a while ago. Um, and then I went to Egypt for like almost a month and I remember nothing about what I did. Uh, okay, and Crescendo, which is like this uh, color shift purple that I think may be green. So I think that's maybe this one, so Crescendo. Uh, yes, definitely, I can see the green in the light. So this is Crescendo. <laughs> this is Unicorn, and this is Flamingo. I also decided with my extra resin, um, I've got a black canvas here that I poured the extra resin on. Uh, and then I'm gonna mix up a little bit of the new uh, Stuck Up Pig color Hoity Toity. Um, I'm excited I have not used this one yet either again because I have been traveling, but uh, very exciting. Uh, so my timer is up, but I'm gonna mix this up now too because this uh, third canvas over here is also gonna get the wave treatment. So here we open the Hoity Toity, which is double sealed for my double protection. Wow, just looking at that cat, it's like super pretty. I mean, I'm really excited to try this. Okay. So I have another tiny little cup of rice in here. And I forgot to process this too. A little goes a long way with these, so I'm just gonna take this tiny amount. Wow, I can see all these color shifts, this is exciting. It's like all my favorite colors in the world, deep teal and purple and mm, love it. Okay. Red's on my thumb. Do I not? Okay. 
gloves back on. In case you're wondering where my uh, usual glass of white wine is, it's like 5.30, a little too early to drink. And also, resin and wine don't generally mix. <laughs> Afterwards, though. Okay, now you can see, oh, I'm trying to make this so you can see all of them at the same time, but we're gonna do our best. I'm going to start with the hoity-toity on this black canvas. And I just took a standard five inch by eight inch canvas from Michael's like the value pack. And I uh, just said it black. Could not find the word there. So I'm gonna do like two waves here. this pretty color. mix it in a little bit. And something from that. Cool. Now we add the high tech piggy paste. So I'm going to pour it on and where I want my waves to go. some intrigue down in this corner. Sometimes waves aren't perfectly even, you know? Most of the time it's not perfectly even because you're dealing with water and water has a personality all on its own, much like me. I always feel like it looks better when you start with a smooth line before you blow it out. I don't really care about the back of it, that's gonna lace up, but... Alright friends, peak on time. Again. You should be wearing a respirator or be in a well-ventilated room and still wear a respirator. I am doing this for the sake of vanity and filming. And I'm just that kind of person. Sorry. So I've got my heat gun that has got the concentrator on it, the wedding cake style concentrator. This is a digital heat gun. I got it at Ace. Um, I have used uh, this and covered this in more detail in some of my other resin videos. So feel free to check those out if you want a little bit more in-depth explanation about everything I'm using and doing. Move this one out of my head.
Okay, I will show you how they turn out. And if you enjoyed this today, please stop on my channel, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. So I feel like I should keep making videos despite the pain that is editing. So we're having fun here, right? Yeah. Okay. Wine time. See ya. Here I am back with results. So I'm going to start with the mistake. If you notice that it does not look as good as you saw it in the last frame, well, there's a reason for that. I was lifting it up to put it on a level surface to cure, and um, I'm a klutz. I dropped it. You can see here where uh, the waves are falling off and everything looks a little askance and askew. That is me and not you. <laughs> I don't think I'm probably going to finish this one. It's probably going to become uh, a do-over. I'm a little irritated I dropped it, but hey, it was kind of screwed up to begin with. Things happen. So there you see that one. Let's move on to my second favorite. Well, I should say, you know, the, the runner-up of the one that didn't get dropped. This is the alcohol ink painting that I showed you, and it's a little bright in here. Um, I'm trying to shade it so you can kind of see the line of where the resin begins there, because it does begin where the canvas is pretty white. Overall, I'm happy with what it did. I may add some embellishments yet. I think I may paint this part of the canvas kind of like a gold or sand color and really take it to that, you know, beach realm, whatever. Let's talk about the piggy paste, right? That's why we're here. So we've got some really nice lacing, right? Particularly in here. Yeah, that is really good stuff. It's got some nice ghosting, or what I call ghosting. I don't know if that's actually called ghosting. It's just what I call things. And then we've got some really beautiful lacing down here. Now, in an ideal world, when I had not been kind of in a rush to make this video so you could all see this brand new awesome product, I would have taken uh, days between to do the waves. So I would have done wave one, let it cure, and then added wave two. Because when you do them both at the same time, your chances of getting them um, kind of mushed together is, is pretty high. If you have the time, why take the chance? This wave could be a little bit more well-defined. I may do that with a little bit of paint, just, you know, to put this at a market or something. But overall, the piggy paste, I'm pleased. I like it. It's good stuff. So beautiful lacing. Now I'm going to show you the Black Sand Beach. This is the one that I did last minute, um, just a, a final thought, because I had some leftover resin. I really wanted to try the new Hoity Toity. So this one is cool. I'm trying to show you some of the color shift, which is pretty difficult in my kitchen lighting. And um, you're catching a lot of teal, but there's like a lot of beautiful violet and almost like some um, pink in it. I'll try to capture some, no guarantees. <laughs> but the lacing in this one is fabulous. And this one is definitely my favorite, um, not only because the hoity-toity, but the lacing is perfect. So I'm gonna get this real close. Sorry for the reflection. Look at that lacing. That is phenomenal. That is exactly what I want when I'm trying to get good lacing. It's super well defined. It's got some nice ghosting. I just like the way that it flows. Again, in a perfect world, I would have done the waves on separate days just to make sure that they didn't, you know, muddy each other up. But, um, you know, for just being a quick wave pour, I don't hate it at all. So um, I'm pretty pleased with these beautiful, this beautiful lacing. All in all, the high tide piggy paste, which is what this video is all about. This is super easy to use. Uh, you just use a little bit, mix it into your resin and then uh, mix it into separate resin if you're gonna do the beach waves and then pour it on. But I found it um, quite a bit easier to use. The packaging is nice. It's, it doesn't say, but it's at least an ounce, maybe more. Um, sure we can clear that up. I'm sure it's right on the website that I'm not looking at right now, <laughs> but it's actually a good amount. This is more than 
uh, what I get when I order Armor Art, which is my, my normal or what I've used up until this point. It's a good amount. It's good texture, really great lacing. Yeah, I'd recommend this. Try it out. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more with this and with a lot more of the stuff from TLP, you know, like the beautiful, because they're right here on my countertop. <laughs> You know, the fun interference colors and, and the, the stuck up pigs. So good stuff. Give it a try. Show me what you make. I will respond eventually. I do apologize. I'm not much on social media these days because I have been traveling. And also now that I'm back in the real world, taking care of my mother, who is very much ailing at this point. So I just don't have a lot of time for social media, but I'm sure you understand family comes first. I will try to answer your questions though. So if you do send me a question, just be patient with me. Give me a week, <laughs> maybe two. We'll get around to it, I, I promise. So I hope you're well. I hope you learned something. I hope that you want to try the piggy paste for yourself and I will see you in the future. I will definitely see you at PoorCon and we will have a grand old time. Take care. Good night. Bye.